morning. It is obviously June 25th, 2024, and we're going to start off my morning devotional with Ephesians 6.10 in my junk journal, and let's go there. Okay, let's see where we're at. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and high places, against rulers in darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places, that is. Wherefore, unto you, you take on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in that evil day, having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt with the truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all, taking on the shield of faith. Wherever you shall be able to quench all the fury darts of the wicked and take on the salvation, the helmet of salvation and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always in prayer and supplication of the spirit, watching therefore unto the perseveration, perseverance and application for all the saints. As for me, the utterance be given unto me that I may be open in my open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Okay. So this is my prayer journal. Well, it's actually a junk journal. I'm going to show you a little bit about it here in a moment. I'm going to take you through it slowly. It's vintage meets kind of a modern sense. So as I showed you in earlier videos, I was working on this. So you've probably already seen this if you've seen my video before, but this is the front cover. And I introduce it by obviously showing you a little bit about me as my name is Jennifer and I created this junk journal for the purpose of healing and recovery. And I hope you enjoyed the explore the pages of this journey that I take you on to to that it's full of creative fun and excitement and joy. So I had some random items and I just took some newspapers, some clippings, some things I had around the house and a lot of things that I had, I already, I didn't have to buy anything. I already had some of these items. The only thing I didn't have was some of the ribbon. So some places I've been in San Francisco and here locally where we used to take streetcars and some hit lessons in history. And I thought this was really neat. Some of the things I found in my stash. I thought I'd just take you through it real quickly. This turned out really nice. Amazing what you can do with paper bags. And this is a little bit of a trip down nostalgic lane. A lot of neat vintage items that I had collected, which I'm finally glad it came to use. And this is just a collage of items that I had put together. Some with cardstock and stickers and magazine clippings. This page is not turning. Hold on a second. Okay. This page really turned out really well. And like I said, a lot of the ribbon and things like that. That was just somebody helping me out. And that. I 
And I just thought I'd make it personal by putting some cards in there. Again, cardstock and magazine collages and things like that. And I made this poem, so I added that to it. And again, family cards. I don't know if I really like that. I might change that up. I'm not sure, but I really like this. That turned out really nice. This turned out really cute. Still working on this. I really like this page. It turned out really nice. I kind of like this, but I kind of don't. I'm not sure. Oh, wait. And this is the page we started out with. This is the page I really loved. Because I can go, this is my go-to page. I can go to this every morning. Same with this scripture. I added this so I can flip this page and read this scripture. And then anybody that reads and watches anything I do can sign here knowing they viewed it. And then I did the back cover finally too. So that's my junk journal with the things that I love a little bit about me. All right, that's it for my junk journal and morning devotion. Thank you for watching. God bless.